here for the Den Time Digital Dashboard. And today I just want to show you a little bit of the workflow when you use this wonderful uh, calculation method in your practice. So I keep my own personal dashboard in Gmail and here it is. And so I'm going to show you if you have yours there, you would have your own private link and you can open it up before the patient comes in. So it's sitting here waiting. And now the first thing you would do, your patient comes in and you might introduce the idea of digital scheduling to them. For example, I do my own uh, scaling and then I have a woman who does the coronal polishing in our office. So I do, I sit there with my patient and I say, hi, Linda, nice to see you. How's the family? Is everything okay? Um, we are going to be doing our normal cleaning today, but in addition to that cleaning, we have another process that we're going to provide for you free of charge, but it really helps to give us a much better picture of your gum health. It allows us to track how you're doing. It allows us to schedule your recall down to the uh, accuracy of a single day. So I'm going to do four things for you. I'm going to actually assume you have the same 28 teeth that you had before, and we're going to count up the amount of visible tartar, see how many pocket points you have, do a check of the mobility, and then after we're done scaling, we'll fill in the number for your um, bleeding upon scaling, and then we do the calculation. And as I say in my office, then my our extended duty assistant comes in and does the coronal polishing. So let's assume I was doing this. I would see that the patient has 28 teeth. Just for fun, we'll change that to 24. <clears throat> Maybe they had orthodontics. I look at their teeth and I see how many teeth have visible tartar because I'm working my way down these steps. And we have a form that you will be using to do this. You could do it right on the screen if you wanted to have this in the operatory. Most people will use a form and then they can keep track uh, one visit after the next. So let's say the person has visible tartar on five teeth. And then maybe the amount of pocketing <clears throat> that we discover is, uh, let's make this uh, 10. Okay. And then we say that there's no mobility. So we're going to reduce that to zero. And then we do our scaling. And when we're done with the scaling, we discover that, in fact, there were five places which bled quite a bit when we scaled them. And so we're going to give this five points of bleeding upon scaling. And we're going to say that three of them were severe or more than average. So we give it a severity score of three. Now we get our calculation, 18.8. 18.8 is between 10 and 20. So there is a specification for a four-month recall it's also written over here just for convenience but what's interesting is the actual recall interval is calculated at 96 days and it turns out that you aren't really going back to four months you're at 3.20 months all right this is what makes this so wonderful so up here we have today's date is pasted in and what we have right below it is the new recall it's friday may 27th if you click over here, you can actually see a calendar and you'll see that it's Friday. So we're not going to work on Friday. So now we come down here and we look for one that is a work day. And here it is Monday, February, uh, excuse me, Monday, um, May 30th. So Monday, May 30th is right here. And this person is going to schedule for that date. If they don't, they can do Tuesday or whatever. It's all uh, variable. But the most important thing is their periodontal health quotient is specifying the recall. Now, once you have the data filled in, while there's the coronal polishing is being done, you go to the chart, which is the second of our written documents, and you can actually chart this number. If it's their first time, you put it in as 18.8. But if it's their second or third or fourth time, now you put in the new number and then you can graph it with your red pen and a ruler and show them how they're doing going up or down. They'll become very motivated to come on a short recall. So that's basically the system. I also have down here a couple of little um, images. We have these printed out in advance 
And we say to people, especially if it's a new patient, our goal is to get you down below 10%, which is going to be a six-month recall or even uh, right in there. And we want 10% or less. That's a six-monther. The danger and the risks of having heart disease, stroke, diabetes, cancer, and Alzheimer's, and the bone loss and tooth mobility and all the problems occur up here. And the problem that we face is that the population of the spirochetes and the problems that occur is an exponentially uh, growing population. So we have to work at moving time between appointments back in this direction to favor a lowering of their periodontal health quotient, which is reflected in the population. I also, for myself, I print out this blank form and I might say, this is 10%. This is 50%, and in this case, this person is, uh, their perinatal health quotient, I think, was uh, 18.5. I'll say you're here. And so we're not in too bad a shape. We want to get you down here. So you're basically educating, and uh, then once that's done, what I do is I close this out, 18.8. I close this out, and by closing it out without saving it, I get my values to go back to the original values. So here we go. I'm going to close it out. It's going to say, do you want to save changes or leave? I'm going to say leave. And then when I come back to my dashboard again, just to show you, I'll do it. My values have been reset to the original values. So here I go. I'm going to Google. I keep my dashboard in my Gmail account. All right. And I'm going to open that up. Here's Gmail. You can keep it anywhere you want. You can put it in a text file. You can put it on a notepad. You can write it down. Most people will take and make the email that we send you, which has the link on it, and they'll put it as I have up here in a starred category. I keep mine right here, and you'll see when I open that up. Now I get my link, and then my dashboard is reset to the original values which have a, uh, a six-month recall, a periodontal health quotient of uh, 10, and it also specifies uh, that we have 180 days. You'll see it's loading, and I'm working on a little bit of a slow computer today. But anyway, here's my dashboard, six months, 180 days, today's date, and the date that this was specified. So there you go. Uh, you don't have to work too hard. The thing will become second nature to you. Uh, and then what we, of course, are doing <clears throat> on the form that you're going to be using is each time you record the new number and then you graph it. And now you can track them. You're essentially titrating them to see what the right interval is. And you also can keep track of what were the reasons why the number went up. Was it visible tartar? Was it pocketing? Uh, mobility or scaling? Let's talk about pocketing just for a second non-surgical periodontics and the use of things like Arrestin or chlorhexidine or whatever, they will shrink pockets that are not greater than six. A five can come back to a four and even to a three because the base of that pocket will migrate toward the crown of the tooth. It is a little bit weaker than a true connective uh, tissue uh, base. But you can get that pocket to be shallower and then turn off the anaerobic behavior through uh, scaling and root planing or even subgingival irrigation. So there's a lot of value in doing the non-surgical process, which this thing specifies exactly. Well, I want to also comment that down over here, you see these resource links. Each one of these takes you to a particular page just for fun, I'll click on the first one and let's see where it goes. Now it goes to a page that has welcome overview, gives you a description of what this is all about. So everything's been taken care of for, uh, for you. All you really need is to um, get become familiar with the way the dashboard works and you will not want to spend a single appointment with a patient without specifying their PHQ, discovering what the recall interval is, calculating it down to the day, talking to them about the medical risk. And this is a revolutionary way to manage patients' dental health, gum health, medical health. 
All right, I'm going to close it out and I'll put this up on uh, on the Den Time uh, page and you'll be able to actually